you back with streets freestyle cooking with streets thanks for tuning in like always i hope everybody out there staying safe and healthy and of course you already know what it is got another great recipe video to share with y'all if you're new to my channel welcome always appreciate the love and support when you come through if this is your first time on my channel please hit that subscribe like share and hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date with my latest recipe videos y'all you feel me freestyle cooking with streets dope recipes come through check me out we get it in let's do it all right so today y'all we doing our holiday flow it's thanksgiving time putting together a real quick simple thanksgiving dinner recipe definitely will like it you dig me on the board i got me some turkey breast got me some fresh cranberries i got me some sweet potatoes and we're going to do like a roasted sweet potato hasselback we're going to do some deep fried turkey breast right and i'm going to finish it off with my cranberry cream gravy y'all that's what i'm talking about man my cranberry cream gravy that's a different twist on your Thanksgiving flow. You feel me? So we about to get it in, y'all. Let's do it. All right, y'all. We about to get it in. First thing you want to do is I got me some skinless, boneless turkey breast from the market. And I had already got it seasoned, right? Because I wanted to cheer with y'all. I, I went to my butcher and it was shut down today. You know what I mean? I wanted to get some fresh turkey breast, marinate it, season it up. You know what I mean? To get y'all like a really uh, good way to season your turkey breast. But they were shut down. So I went to my local market and I got me some already seasoned turkey breast. As you can see, you see the season is in there. Already seasoned, ready to go. Now, if you can't find like a seasoned, like what I have, seasoned turkey breast, you can marinate it just with some uh, Italian seasoning, some uh, olive oil, salt, pepper, you know, you can basically make your own kind of marinade to the flavors you like, but just some uh, Italian seasoning, salt, pepper, olive oil, you know, maybe some Creole seasoning, you're good to go. Smoked paprika, bang, you're ready to go. All right, now since I already got these seasoned up, I'm going to go ahead and pat them dry, okay, because I'm, I'm going to deep fry these. So I want to go ahead and pat them dry. All right, they're already, you know, got they, you know, season infused, as I would say. Like they already just got seasoned and all soaked up in them. All right, pat them real dry. You see, it's a lot of juice going on. Once we get those padded dry, that's it. We're good. Okay, wipe my pan out. Put those extra juices. And I'm gonna just sit my pan back, uh, sit my turkey brush back in the pan, let them sit, air dry for a little bit, put them to the side. Real easy. Okay, now that I got my turkey brush to the side, air drying, what you wanna do now is you wanna heat your oven to 425, all right? And also, you wanna go ahead, I'm using my deep fryer for my breast. If you're not, if you don't have a deep fryer, you wanna get enough oil in your pot. To cover your breast depending on the size and you want to try to heat that oil up at 350 i like using the uh deep fryer because i can set it to 350 and it'll stay right there i don't have to worry about it go check it and this or do anything i got my deep fryer coming to temp once it gets to 350 it'll stay right there that's where you want that at and you want to preheat your oven at 425 all right so now we're going to get our hassle back potatoes ready got my sweet potatoes now I got uh, two wooden spoons, okay, because we're going to put those, we're going to put the uh, the spoons on the side of the potatoes, right, and we're going to take our knife and we're going to slice them down to the spoons, all right, because we don't want to go all the way through, okay, so the half-spec potatoes, they'll be sliced, but not all the way through, all right, so... I'm gonna go ahead and start making my cuts. I 
right there we go then made my cuts as you can see that's how you want your potato to come out doesn't cut all the way through all right and you want to do the rest of your potatoes just like this all right you can also use chopsticks if you don't have no wooden spoons you can use some chopsticks you know just anything to keep the knife from going all the way through Alright, now as you can see, I got my Hasselback potatoes ready to go. Got them all sliced, beautifully ready to go. Got it on a greased baking sheet, you know what I mean? I like to use the foil to easy clean up. But you can use, you know, a wire rack, you know, or just a greased down baking sheet. There we go, look at that, y'all. Alright, make sure you don't want to go all the way through. Alright, now we got that, we're going to set that to the side. All right, next, I want to go ahead and break out my pan, and we're going to take uh, about four tablespoons of butter, and we're going to slowly melt that down, okay? I got it like on a medium heat. Just want to melt it down. You don't want to burn the butter or anything like that. You just want to melt it down. Okay, once my butter is melted down, I want to go ahead and add a tablespoon of maple syrup. Next, I want to add a teaspoon of some cinnamon. And I want to go ahead and get that incorporated, mix it around. Alright, make sure it's well incorporated with the butter. Oh yeah, y'all, that's what I'm talking about. Once we got it all incorporated, that's it. I'm gonna let it go for another 10, 20 seconds, just, you know, just to let everything, you know, come together. But right now, we're good. Okay, now right before I take it off the flame, I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of olive oil. All right, there we go, y'all. Got everything incorporated, ready to go. All right, take this off the flame. And right now, got my potatoes back on deck. I'm gonna go ahead and season them. Put some salt and pepper on these. Now, after I got my salt and pepper on there, now I'm going to go ahead and take my brush and brush down my potatoes. You know, you want to get all up in there with that uh, butter, oil, cinnamon, uh, maple syrup mixture. Right now, once we got it all brushed up, I used everything in my pan. Got this, got my Hasselback sweet potatoes brushed up, and we want to go ahead get these in that 425 oven for an hour, y'all. Oh yeah, let's do it! All right, now we about to get our cranberry gravy popping. So first off, we got to start off with putting together a cranberry sauce okay so I got 12 ounces basically a bag of cranberries fresh ready to go you want to get that in the pot get your uh, heat to medium you want to get your heat to medium also I'm going to use two cups of orange juice now this orange juice I'm using, I'm using some orange juice with the mango because this is like the extra flow to it. But just regular orange juice is good to go. 
we're freshly squeezed on our juice is good to go all right so i'm gonna add the two cups of orange juice also got a cup of sugar and next I'm gonna add about a quarter cup of water all right so I want to go ahead and stir that up get it going and we basically want to cook this get it to a simmer where our uh, cranberries start to pop that's where we know we on the right flow y'all all right so we got it on a medium high heat we're gonna let it flow and then once our cranberries start to pop and get into like a little syrupy type of mix we there y'all we're close to that cranberry gravy all right now if you don't want to use it like if you don't want to do the uh, uh homemade cranberry sauce you can just get a can of cranberry sauce or you can get the already made cranberry sauce and do this too so you would just skip this process but we're doing it straight from scratch so we got the fresh cranberries, we got the orange juice, we got the water, we got the sugar. Let's get it popping, y'all. Let's do it! Now, while we got our cranberries ready in the pot, bringing them to a simmer, we're going to take our uh, turkey breast. Ready? Remember, earlier I told you, we had the oil ready to go at 350. We're going to go ahead and dip these in, get these fried, all right? So that's what I'm about to do. So we got the and this and you want to fry them for about 350, depending on the size of your uh, turkey breast, about 15 to 20 minutes. All right. So I'm gonna do one at a time while our cranberries is coming to a boil. Let's get it, y'all. Let's do it. All right, y'all. Here we go. Got my cranberry sauce broke down just the way I want it. As you can see, my cranberries done pop. Got it broken down. Still got some um, chunks in there, but that's cool. That's how I want it. Also, got my turkey out the deep fryer. Look at that, y'all. Got it resting right now. All right. My Hasselback potatoes is just about done. Now we got to make this gravy. Get this thing on the plate, all right? And we make the gravy... We're going to have some extra cranberry sauce. I'm only going to probably use about a cup of this cranberry sauce to make my gravy. You feel me? So, let's get this thing popping, y'all. Let's do it. Now, I got my pot out for my gravy. Now, what I'm going to use is I'm going to use a little bit of the oil that I deep fry my turkey in because it's got the turkey seasoning and flavors all in the oil. If you roasted your turkey, you would use just the turkey drippings. You know, any way... You will go about when you're making uh, a, a turkey gravy. Okay, so I'm gonna add a couple tablespoons, tablespoons of oil. Got it on medium heat. All right. So while my oil is heating up, I want to go ahead and add in some flour, about a quarter cup. So I got my roux flowing a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and slowly add in two cups of chicken stock. Once I got it to a boil, I'm going to go ahead and add a cup of my cranberry sauce. Stir that in with it. Okay. Yeah. Also, I'm going to add about a quarter cup of cream. Look at how that's coming together real nice. 
you just want to continue to cook this for a couple of minutes just till it gets to the thickness you want it. Add some um, some salt, about a quarter teaspoon of salt. Add some pepper, quarter teaspoon of pepper. I'm also going to add some chili powder, just a teaspoon. Give me a little bit of kick. Which should really balance this gravy out, y'all. Alright, there you go, guys. Gravy is done. Got it to the thickness I want it. So I'm talking about, y'all. Freestyle cooking with streets, man. That cranberry gravy. I mean, this is how you really spice up your holiday, y'all. Alright? So our potatoes is done. Everything finished. Let's get this on the plate. Boom. And there we go, you guys. Plate it on up. That's what I'm talking about, y'all. I added a couple of more uh, sides to it, you know, just to make it out for a complete Thanksgiving-style dinner. Added some stuffing. Added some greens. You can add your whatever favorite size, macaroni and cheese, whatever Thanksgiving size you love. But definitely try the Hasselback potato. Let y'all get a look at that. Mmm, look at how that came out. Nice. Feel me? Garnish it with some parsley. And I got my deep fried turkey. With my cranberry gravy. And I still got some extra cranberry sauce. In case I just want to add anything else to this. But we here, y'all. We done. Alright. So please subscribe. Like. Share. Hit that notification bell so you can keep up with my latest videos. Let me know if you tried it. Let me know what you think. And y'all already know. Happy holidays to y'all. Hold it down. Stay healthy. Holla.